Hi everyone! In today's video I'm gonna make non-alcoholic apple cider from scratch and what I mean by that is that I won't be using all ready-made store-bought cider but fresh apples. Now in most parts of the world apple cider is actually made with completely different apple varieties than those available at your local grocery store. However, apples from the grocery store are obviously the most accessible so that's what we'll be using in this recipe. I like to use a mix of tart and sweet apples for a balanced flavor. Some of the best apples for making cider are Granny Smith, Macintosh, Baldwin or Cortland. Core the apples and cut them into quarters or even smaller pieces. I will be using my juicer to make the cider, but you can also use a press or just buy non-alcoholic, non-sparkling apple cider from the refrigerator section of your grocery store. You could also use apple juice, but apple cider is so much better. Apple cider is raw pressed and it's not filtered. As far as the spices go, I'm using whole spices. Some of the best spices for cider are cinnamon and cloves. What I like to do is insert the cloves into a half of an apple so they are easy to remove afterwards. You could also use a piece of cheesecloth, a spice bag or just add the cloves to the cider loose. If you'd like the spices to be more pronounced, you could toast them over medium high heat before adding them to the cider. Next, I have a cinnamon and orange slices. As you can see, I'm using even the orange peel because I had an organic orange, so I really wanted to use the whole fruit. But you should know that the peel can actually make your cider a bit bitter. If you like that, use the peel. If not, I would definitely recommend that you peel the orange. I'm not adding any sweetener because I find that apple cider is plenty sweet on its own. Mull the cider at a low temperature for about 4 hours or simmer the cider for about an hour, depending on your preference. And that's it! Wonderfully spiced, sweet apple cider that is perfect for gathering with friends, family or just about any cold winter night. There is actually a story behind how I started making apple cider at home. So I was at this event with Tanner several years ago and I was helping in the kitchen and we were making apple cider in the kitchen and then we served it to all the guests and Tanner would just not stop talking about how amazing the apple cider was and I was like, it was just apple juice and spices and he liked it so much and I was like, okay, well, I can totally make this at home all the time. And I would say that this is better. The orange is coming through very clearly in the aftertaste. That was your first reaction. You were like, oh, there's lemon. It's like, no, there's no lemon. It's orange. So it's boiled <laughs> with an orange is what I found out. Mm -hmm. And you can taste it. It's got the clean scent and taste of orange, if that makes sense. What I mean is like when you have like an orange cleaner and it gives off that really pungent aroma, imagine the taste of that in this. And then the f apple flavor is very strong as well because yes. it's fresh apples and they're like freshly juiced yesterday. Yes. 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 So they're really, really strong. I like that. I like that a lot. I imagine you can water it down to your taste, dilute it to whatever you want it to be, but I really like this. And there's some pulp still left in there because from the juicer doesn't get rid of everything. You could strain that out if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. So. Yes. It's very strong in flavor, very aromatic. I really like it, and I think you should try it. And I don't think there's very much pulp. Is there? Do you feel mm. like there's very much pulp? There's like maybe like little bits. Especially when it's, it like settles. Yeah, it settles down. So, and you can filter it out. So. Yes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.